Good morning and a very warm welcome to Liquid Worship. I'm Liquid and your Worship. As you can hear, Fabian is with us. Uh, it's a miserable day here at Bolton Abbey, uh, but I'm trying to record the service and uh, because Lorna is away, my wife is going to edit it, so I hope it comes out OK. Uh, but here goes all the same. Today's theme is the prodigal son. Uh, it's a story you may have heard before, but it's about a son who does nothing right. And we'll hear all about that uh, in a moment. So it's uh, one of the best stories in the Bible, and I think you'll gain a valuable lesson from it. Alleluia. The Spirit of God fills the whole earth. Oh, come, let us worship. Alleluia. And we start our services, as always, with our birthday hymn. So if anyone's got a birthday today or has had a birthday this month, this one is for you. sang that very well indeed so well done and we pray together almighty god to whom all hearts are open all desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your holy spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through christ our lord amen lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy and now we sing our second hymn, which is very appropriate for the prodigal son who goes away from home and, and then comes back. And this song is called One More Step Along the World I Go. sang that very well to children and now we bow our heads in prayer. God our Father we thank you for the stories Jesus told that teach us about you. 
We thank you for our families and for all the people that help keep us safe and healthy every day. Help us to remember that we are all part of your family and that Jesus is our friend. Amen. And now we're going to listen to the story called The Big Spender, read by Fabian. The Big Spender. The people who thought they were good were still not happy with Jesus. They moaned, they grumbled, they frowned. It's not fair, they complained. Jesus spends all his time with the bad people. Jesus heard this and told them one more story. Once upon a time, there was a man who had two sons. He loved them both very much, but one day the younger son came to him with a sad request. Father, the young son said, when you die, I will get part of your money and part of your land. The problem is, I don't want to wait, I want my money now. It was all the father could do to hold back his tears. But because he loved his son, he agreed and gave him his share of the money. That very day, the son left home, the money in his pocket and a big smile on his face. He didn't even say goodbye. The father just watched, wiped away a tear, and hoped that one day he would see his son again. The son travelled to a country far, far away and spent his money just as fast as he could. He drank, he gambled, he used his money to do many bad things, until finally the money was all gone. The son looked for a job, but the only work he could find was taking care of pigs. It was hard, dirty work, and he was hungry sometimes, but he thought about taking the pigs' food for himself. He was miserable, lonely, and sad. And then one day he had an idea. The servants who take care of my father's animals are much happier than me. I'll go home. That's what I'll do. I'll tell my father how sorry I am for wasting his money, and maybe, just maybe, he'll let me become a servant and work for him. Now, what do you think the father had been doing all this time? Did he say to himself, I have my eldest son at home with me. Who cares if my younger one is gone? Of course not. He loved his son, even though he had gone far away. And every day he would go out to the roadside and watch, hoping his son would return. That's exactly where he was when the younger son hobbled home, poor and hungry. The father ran to his son and hugged him tight, and the son dropped right to his knees. Oh, father, he cried, I'm so sorry. I've wasted all your money and no longer good enough to be your son. Don't be stupid, his father said. You are my son. You will always be my son, and I'm so glad to have you back. Then the father lifted his son to his feet and walked him home. He dressed him in beautiful clothes. He put gold rings on his fingers and threw him a big welcome party. When the elder son came home from work that night, he heard the party noise. What's happening? he asked, and a servant told him he was filled and he was filled with anger and ran to his father. It's not fair, he shouted. I've been a good son. I've worked hard for you all these years. But he was bad. He wasted your money, and now you're throwing him a party? I love you, my son, the father said, and you have enjoyed all the good things I have. But your brother was gone and now he's back. He was lost and now he's found. And that's why I'm having this party, because we are all back together again. Thank you, Fabian, very much indeed for that excellent story. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the service, this week's story is called the prodigal son, or as it's known in the book, the Lan Bible book, it's known as it's, the story is known as the big spender. Because as we hear, a man had two sons. One worked loyally at home and the other one said, I'd like all my money now, please. And then he left and he spent it all. And he didn't spend it wisely. He spent it on all sorts of things and wasted it. And he was very bad indeed. So there is a good son in this story who does nothing wrong and there is a bad son in this story who does everything wrong. So imagine if this was you or your family. You might have a brother. You might have a sister. Can you imagine if it was you or your brother or your sister who left home and they spent all your parents money and did really bad things? Imagine when they came home again, how would your parents react? Would they be angry? Probably. Would they ask your brother or sister to pay the money back? They might do. Or would they be happy? 
that they were back and ask for nothing in return. In fact, go even further and hold a huge party. In our ordinary lives, it seems highly unlikely that parents would hold a party for someone who'd behaved really badly. But this is just what the father does in this story. Now, the story isn't real. In a sense, it's what's called a parable. And that's an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. And the heavenly meaning in this story is that whatever we do in this world, however badly we behave, God, our Father, will always forgive us. Indeed, he'll go even further. He'll hold a party to rejoice that we've come back to the fold. Martin Luther once said, and he was a very famous churchman, he said, if there's no other parable in the Bible, this alone is enough. So it's a very important message, and I'm sure it's come across loud and clear. And now for your activities uh, this week. Uh, first of all, there is a picture of a family in your online liquid worship sheet, which you might want to colour in. But Jill and Joan have had a very good idea, and that's to imagine that you have got been, that you have got a fifty pound note from your parents. And having heard this story, write down a list of how you might spend that money. There we go. I hope you enjoyed all the activities and now it's time to pray. Let us pray. Help me know, Lord, that your spirit is within me and your love surrounds me in my sleep and in my waking, in my work and in my playing. Help me know, Lord, that your spirit is with, within me and your love surrounds me. When I err and deny you, when I rebel and defy you, help me to know, Lord, that your spirit is within me and your love surrounds me. When I return from being lost, having recognised the cost, help me know, Lord, that your spirit is within me and that your love surrounds me. Amen. Lord, your generous love holds us in your presence. When close, we know that all good things come from you. When we desert you, the assurance of your love stretches to protect and sustain us as a parent for a child. Then we realise that your forgiveness is offered joyfully. Amen. And God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Lord, kingdom Lord, come, Lord, thy Lord, will be done, on Lord, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we sing our final hymn, very appropriate again, and it's called We Shall Go Out With Joy.
the spirit of truth leads us into all truth. Give us to grace to confess that Jesus is Lord and strengthen us to proclaim the word and works of God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us this day and always. Amen. <laughs>